Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Mad Medicine. My name is Farhan and on this channel we are going to be talking about everything that has to do with medicine and medical school and today specifically we are going to be discussing clinical research versus laboratory research. Which one's better and which one will help you get into medical school more. Now before we dive deep into the topic make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. Hey subscribe button! and uh, make sure you guys hit the little bell next to it so you guys can get notified every time we post a new video on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. That being said, we are gonna talk about clinical and laboratory research today. Which one is better? In my opinion, uh, both clinical research and laboratory research have pros and they have cons. So let's talk about research in general. Do you need research? Should you have research for medical school? The answer is maybe. And if you guys wanna have a more elaborate answer, go check out my previous video. There's a banner right here where we talk about research. Should you do it? Do you need it for med school? Hit that one over there. Now with that being said, let's talk about laboratory research. Laboratory research, you know, in a nutshell, in a very condensed nutshell, is when you go into a lab and you do certain types of research. And it can be pretty much anything, like literally anything. Uh, you could be doing conservation research, you could be doing ecology research, you could be doing physics research, you could be doing chemistry research, organic chemistry research, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You could be doing so many different types of research when it comes to laboratory research. Now, what I just said, I know I made it very condensed and it's not a big explanation, but I'm sure you guys at this point know what laboratory research is. It's pretty much what you have in the back of your mind when you think about, oh, there's a scientist who works in a lab. That's what laboratory research is like. Now, clinical research in a nutshell is when you are doing research that actually has uh, an outcome or has an explanation of an outcome in a clinical setting, okay? So a lot of times this can be laboratory research, don't get me wrong, clinical research can be lab research when it comes to, let's say, pharmacology, the study of drugs, or drug reactions, or drug composition and makeup. It's usually outside of the laboratory setting, meaning it's a lot of research that's done in a patient room, in a clinical room, or in a clinical setting, stuff like that, okay? Now, I'm not gonna dive deep into clinical research and the types of clinical research. Maybe we'll talk about it later, but today we are just going to be comparing the two to see which one's better. Now, in my humble experience and humble opinion, I don't think either of the two are better than the other. Now, I don't think one research experience will show medical schools that you're more inclined to be a doctor than any other research experience, okay? It really depends on you guys. If you guys are passionate about what you want to do, then you should pursue that aspect of what you want to do because that passion will show in your activities so when it comes to laboratory research if you guys actually like doing lab research if you enjoy pipetting if you guys enjoy doing a lot of the the, the tests that's run that, that are ran if you guys enjoy doing a lot of tests on subjects if you like if you guys like dissecting right a little sadistic um, then you guys might really enjoy laboratory research Yes, you are in a lab for a lot of time and you have to do your you know, work over and over and over again. It does give you the type of gratification that other research experiences don't in the sense that you are working with your hands. You are doing things right then and there and it's you who's doing it. Now, when it comes to clinical research, a lot of times undergrads misunderstand what clinical research really is. They think that clinical research means you are going to be working with patients and working on drug related stuff, okay? And yes, you may be, but a lot of times you may not even be working with patients and that's the reality of it. Sometimes you could be doing research that's really heavy on the pre-work, meaning the preparation for the research you are going to be doing, the background information, the study design, the controls, and also how are you going to implement it in a clinical setting. A lot of those you know, uh, things become kind of forgotten when we're thinking about clinical research. And I know personally, I also forgot and actually I had no idea. So a quick story time. I have done both laboratory research as an undergrad and clinical research as an undergrad. And now my personal experience is my own, but I didn't like my laboratory experience simply because it was kind of boring for me. Uh, I was working in a lab and I was doing dissections. And I was working on malaria. So it wasn't like it was completely separate, right? It wasn't like I was doing physics research or anything. Uh, no, you know, nothing wrong with doing physics research, but I was doing work on malaria. Now I thought it would be very interesting because you know, malaria has to do with humans and I want to be a doctor. So I thought that was a very good connection. 
So I started doing this research. I was dissecting mosquitoes. I was running PCR. I was doing DNA extractions. I was doing so much, right? And to be honest with you, I hated it because yes, I was working with my hands, but I couldn't see how my research would actually affect people's lives. I, and that's what I wanted to see. I had this misconception that the research on malaria, I would be able to tell how it's gonna affect someone in Africa or India or you know wherever in South America. But I really didn't get to see that. And that was something that was really you know, hard on me because I expected to see it. Another thing was um, I was working long hours in a laboratory setting and I kind of didn't like that after a while because I realized I don't want to work too much with my hands. I don't want to work too much doing, you know, pipetting and doing all these tedious tasks. And I just didn't enjoy it. And that, but that's just my personal opinion. I know a lot of very good physicians. I know a lot of very good medical students who actually thoroughly enjoyed laboratory research and they're still doing it to this day. So hey, that's just my experience. Now when I left that lab, when I kind of was fed up with the lab, the people were great, but I was fed up with the work. I went to a clinical setting and I asked the clinicians there, hey, I want to do some clinical research. And I specifically wanted to do research in cardiovascular disease, heart disease, because I have a family history of heart disease. And I was very interested in it because, you know, it had a direct impact on me. So without really considering what I was doing, I realized that I was doing a lot of pre-work. I was searching about the disease, right? I was learning as much as I could about cardiovascular disease. I was learning how it happens, how you could treat it, how you can prevent it, and what types of people it happens to, the demographics, and you know what other things are associated with heart disease. So when I realized how much I was enjoying doing clinical research, and learning about all the, the diseases and stuff like that, I realized I definitely wanted to stay and do clinical research. That's something that really attracted me. Um, it allowed me to see like a direct impact of my work, okay? A direct impact on people's lives. And that's huge. Personally, my family has heart disease and to see someone else helped by my research meant a lot to me. And that's why I gravitated more towards clinical research. Now, if you guys don't have access to clinical research, that's okay. Don't think that just because, you know, a medical student is telling you that they like clinical research more, that you should do clinical research. If you even do laboratory research, that's great. And another thing I want to make very clear is it doesn't really matter what research you do. As an undergrad, you could be a bio major, but if you guys enjoy physics and you do physics research, that's perfectly fine. What you do want to show is that a you're really interested in the research you're doing because a lot of times you could be asked that in medical school interviews what did you do talk about your research and the people you're interviewing with are definitely smarter than you so be very careful if you're going to try to bs that that's the first thing b um you also want to show that you were so invested and interested naturally interested that you were able to do papers you did some presentations and you did so many symposiums etc etc to show your research to the academic community that's another thing and then the last thing is pretty much you know that you were passionate about learning forget about the research research is just a way for you to continue your learning right to enhance your learning so you want to show that you liked research because you were able to increase your knowledge now when it comes to research do what you want to do and i want to give you another final example and that is when i was an undergrad i took a lot of astronomy classes and as you guys can see on my shirt i got an astronomer right here on my pocket can you see? Oh wait, hold up. Yeah, right here on my pocket. And that's because I'm a huge fan of the cosmos. Um, and I'm a huge nerd when it comes to uh, space in general and sci-fi. And I really wanted to do uh, physics research. The problem was I never got a chance to do that. But I'm so passionate about it because it's so interesting to me. And had I had the chance to go back and do any type of research that I wanted to do, I would definitely do physics research, even probably before clinical research. It doesn't matter what research you do. It doesn't matter if you do laboratory research. It doesn't matter if you do clinical research. It doesn't even matter if you do research in biology, okay? You could do physics research. You could do research in English or religious studies. It doesn't matter, as long as you guys are passionate about it. Now, I hope this made it a little bit more clear. Uh, clinical research is good. Laboratory research is good. And one thing I do wanna say, sometimes um, people think that having clinical research will give you a leg up because you're gonna be working with physicians, right? Um, and yes, it can. You could be working with the dean of a medical school and you could get to know that dean and maybe they'll write you a letter of recommendation. 
or you could also be working in a laboratory setting with a professor who actually teaches at the medical school and the deans and the acceptance committee knows this professor. It really doesn't matter. The, the argument can be made for either of the two. Now that being said, I hope this made it more clear for you guys. I hope you guys have a better understanding of whether you should do laboratory research or clinical research or any other type of research. And if it did, let me know below. And if you guys got any more questions, leave a comment below. And also don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel, okay? Hit that bell button when you do because we like to post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday so you guys can get as much content as possible from our channel and from these videos. All right, I'm gonna say deuces for now and I'll see you guys back here on Friday. All right guys, take it easy.